These moon boys may be in for a rude awakening, ladies and gentlemen. Little Jimmy, been shining shoes down at the flea market ever since the Luna collapse, and is now saying that, The bottom is in, Kirby. It's a triple bottom. We're only going to the moon from here. But I'd like to show you some very important data today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to specifically look at the Google Trends data and what we've seen in past cycles here for the Bitcoin price to get an idea of market sentiment and what's going on. So let's dive in and analyze what is going on, ladies and gentlemen. Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. So let's not waste any time and get right down to it. All right, so let's begin here with the Google Trends data for the search term Bitcoin worldwide data past five years. Now, before we begin, please, Moon Boys, just please refrain from saying, well, Kirby, nobody searches for Bitcoin anymore. This is 2022. I assure you, my friend, that people still search for Bitcoin. I've been in the space for a very long time and I still search for Bitcoin. So please, I've heard that narrative a million times over the years as I've shown this analysis here, which time and time and time again, I consider to have been very useful. So let's go in with an open mind. So as you can see here, obviously our peak was back in 2017, December of 2017, that was a 100. This chart is a relative scale, right? So in the past five years, 100, the ultimate climax was in December of 2017. Our second highest run was in May of 2021. We got up to a 76. Okay. That was the height of our bull run there. Now, obviously we've been in a pretty significant downtrend and understand where we're at here. Okay. We're between a 22 and a 21. Now, if we go back to the bottom of the bear market in 2017, we bottomed basically around a seven, right? You see this, the lowest points here were a seven. Then if we fast forward, even though it doesn't look like much, this here in 2019 was the peak up towards 14,000. And if we go down again, the bottom was about an eight, right? You see the lowest points here around an eight over here, a nine. So basically let's chalk it up between a seven and a nine were the last two market cycle bottoms over the past five years. Okay. Over here right now, we're still at a 22 slash 21 to me. This chart still could have room to run to the downside before a bottom comes in, especially with Bitcoin still hovering around that 30K range, possibly looking to lose the trap door of support and capitulate deep down into the crypto abyss. Now, let's go over here to the news search. OK, this is when you click the news tab on Google, right? Just to look at news articles only. Very similar here. Our peak was back in 2017. We then found our bottom in the single digits, right? An eight was the relative bottom here. Then this was the peak back in 2019, up at around $14,000 per Bitcoin. Again, we found our bottom in the low single digits, an eight again. And now here we are, ladies and gentlemen, fast forward into the current day. We are still sitting between a 14 and a 13. Thus, in my opinion, this chart may also still have room to run to the downside. Now let's go over to the YouTube search volume. All right, this is people searching for Bitcoin on YouTube only. Back in 2017, what do you know? A relative 100. We found our bottom in the single digits around an eight, right? Then here's the peak in 2019. Then we found our bottom again in the single digits between an eight and a nine. Fast forward, here we are. Top of the bubble in 2021 was a relative 72. And here we are still sitting at a 26 to a 25. Let's get this crypto. So for me right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I mean, this chart to me looks to be on track with the rest of the crypto market, right? I still am under the firm belief that we might have a heinous capitulation down, right? Um, that if we lose this relative support, you know, between 28 and 30,000, that Bitcoin could plunge way lower. We're actually going to go to the price chart in a moment. I just want to be clear that the last several cycles, we've seen the Google trends data bottom in the single digits. Now I'm not saying that this has to be the same as it was in the past. I'm just saying that with this metric still being higher 
than it's been at the bottom of past market cycles, combined with the fact that Bitcoin is teetering on the edge of the capitulation cliff, in my opinion, uh, you know, we could still be on track here to bottom on Google Trends in the single digits again. Let's get this crypto. If you appreciate this analysis, leave a thumbs up for the video. I appreciate the thumbs up. And if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe, tick the little bell and select all for the most must see and most realistic Bitcoin analysis on YouTube, period. Let's get this crypto and welcome to the channel. Now, if we take a look here on the price chart, I just want you all to be very well aware in case you're new to this channel. I mean, for me right now, this is the last line in the sand for Bitcoin. If we happen to lose this support, I think a drop down towards 20, possibly even down towards 10 slash 12,000 is possibly in the cards, right? Um, and basically, to me, it looks very similar to what we saw back here in 2018 right? That we saw multiple months here of sideways consolidation at the last line of support before we then capitulated deep down into the crypto abyss. And this is where we saw uh, the Bitcoin Google trends data go down into the single digits, right? So for me right now, we're in a very stale market. Uh, we're seeing interest wane evident by the Google trends data, right? We're in a downtrend across all of the different ways you can look at that data. Uh, and right now, folks, if Bitcoin is going to continue to capitulate here, maybe, just maybe, we'll see that Google Trends data get down into the single digits again, and it's possible at that point that we are at a more advantageous spot in this market cycle for the bulls to look for buying opportunities, buying signals, and things of that nature. Let's get this crypto. So I'm going to keep this one short here today. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I told you guys that this on my last stream, right, that this here had the chance to be an absolutely crazy fake out, right? All the bulls were going crazy. Kirby, this is it. You dumb bear. We're going to the moon. Well, the Don shorted that rip to the upside because what do you do in bear markets, ladies and gentlemen? In bull markets, you buy the dip. In bear markets, you short the rip. So what did the Don do here, ladies and gentlemen? Ding, ding, ding. Chicken wings for dinner. Tofu if you're vegan. The Don shorted the rip. And shout out to my VIPs. You guys would have known that I entered a short position right up there above 31,000, wound up closing it out for a nice juicy profit. Let's get this crypto. The Don struck gold again. If you're not already in my VIP, that is where I post all of my real-time trade setup ideas, entry ideas, and potential take profit ideas exclusively for you there as the Don looks to potentially strike gold again. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep you up to date with all of that as this market continues to unfold. This has been a grindy, grindy market as of late, but don't miss any more of my updates, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, these moon boys, especially all over YouTube and social media telling you, this is it. This is it. We're going to the moon. The Don stayed cool, calm, and collected. The Don took the short right up here. It dropped down, took the profit, and I'm moving along to the next trade, just trying to stay one step. Nah, nah, at least two steps ahead of every other trader, bot and degenerate in this space so that I can potentially continue to crush this market and get this crypto. So ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. If you did enjoy here today, give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for the thumbs up. If you're brand new, welcome to the most must-see and most realistic Bitcoin analysis on YouTube, period. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell and select all so you don't miss any more of these important Bitcoin updates. Let's get this crypto. And seriously, don't miss my next important critical real-time Bitcoin trade setup idea and alert. I will be posting that for you in VIP. Let's get this crypto. And until next time. The Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and before I forget, don't fall for any of the fake Kirby accounts posting down in the comment section. They create fake accounts with a nearly identical username and logo to mine. Then they reply to your comments with phone numbers and email addresses trying to get you to contact them. You can see several examples on your screen right now. Do not contact these people. So here's how you can verify that it's my actual real account. It's very simple. When you're watching a video on my channel, my real account will always have a gray nameplate behind my name. I also have a verified check mark from YouTube. And just to make it even more obvious that it's me, I always leave a creator heart on my comments. Only the channel owner can leave a creator heart. So if you see the heart plus the gray background and the verified check mark, you know that it's me. If you don't see those things, then it's obviously a fake account. It's as simple as that. They're also 
creating fake accounts over on Telegram now. So if you are ready to become a VIP, do not go on Telegram and search Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP. You're going to find all fake results. My group is private. When you search that in the search bar, you're getting public results. They're all fake. They're all imposters. So if you're ready to join VIP, the only way to do so is to click the link either in the pinned comment or in the description of my video. If you search for Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP anywhere else, you're going to be getting in contact with a fake. Only use the links in either the pinned comment or the description of my official video. Stay safe and stay smart, my friends. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. Material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell slash long or short any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments. Nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.